welcome, Sagittarius Capricorn, to your numerology reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you. Manifest. Look at that. You've been manifesting this love to come together or looking for this new love. So whether you're manifesting this love uh, partnership to heal or whether you are looking for new love, Take it how it resonates. Everybody's is a little different, but it's definitely coming together, sharing, having the same give and take relationship, somebody that you can feel unified with. That's the same as the two of cups. So really feeling like, you know what, we are coming together as one. It's very important, right? We get two people coming and sharing a healthy relationship. And Spirit is saying, I'm bringing in this. You have manifested this. And so it's all coming together. Wow. Wow. And the card here you have is giving, whether it's giving it a second chance or, you know, however it is. But I love the giving. And it's saying, Spirit is saying, I am giving you this. You manifested this. Wow. For the joy. What are your beliefs around the happiness that you are entitled to in this life? What imprint does this make on your behaviors around the situation? And that really is what it is, too. This is not entitled as a negative. This is entitled as an... You are entitled to have other things just like everybody else, right? You're entitled to have love. You're entitled to have money. You're entitled to live in a house. You see what I'm saying? Entitlement doesn't have to be a negative. If I pull a hair out of my head, I'm going to tell you right now, the negative from the positive is hair thin. And this is definitely on the joyful um, entitlement of on your behalf of being a human being, we all deserve love. So this is the entitlement of what I deserve. Um, on that area. I know entitlement usually is used so negative um, because most people who are entitled don't use it right. We're talking about on a positive note. So please, please don't use that in a negative. A lot of words um, can be positive or negative depending on how you, pride is another one. You can be prideful in certain things, but then, you know, pride can lead to very negative. So it depends on how you're, you're using the word. Um, and this is because you've been waiting. This is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work for your love. You have manifested this. It is time now. So get ready for it. Two plus six is eight. This is going to bring in the harmony. The eight is also the manifestation. Um, this is one. It's bringing in this new beginning of love for you. Um, and it's a very balanced love and a very harmonious love. And we know it's very balanced because we have a two here in two of cups. So the joy is also, wow, the chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So this is something that, you know what, we can come together here and be together because there is a huge chemistry of attraction. Um, so you do attract each other. And as you can see them sitting together, they look very joyful, very happy. And there is a sharing. Look at, they're actually sharing. Within life, sharing and giving, the give and take is very important, right? Is very, very important. So we want to make sure that we are giving and taking. And you know what? We share however we share. We share our thoughts. We can, you know, we don't have to share everything, but <clears throat> some thoughts are yours and please keep them to yourself, right? Because <laughs> they're not made for others. Just, just you, yourself, and God. <clears throat> and that is 100. Okay, so, and this is because it says that there was some delays over here. There was definitely some delays, and you know what? It, but it's time now. It's time now for those delays and, or resistance or fear of a relationship or anything that was going on to renew itself. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe you had a Pisces. Maybe this is a, you know, second chance. Um, however, maybe you're manifesting them coming closer to you and you feel like they're holding back. Or maybe you just feel like you've been holding back in the love game <clears throat> for whatever reason, right? Don't want to get hurt. Don't want to do that. But yet I am still manifesting. It's kind of crazy. It's almost like I'm manifesting the perfect love, but yet I still kind of stand back. Because I want to make sure that it is exactly what I want. Do you see what I'm saying? So there could be a manifesting, but I still have a little fear. So that would make imbalance. And I think that that's very important that we have the twos here. Because the twos are saying, don't worry about the imbalance. It's completely balanced, right? This is the person who can tell you, don't worry. 
they don't show you anything that you should resist. And that's very important. <clears throat> and so over here, it's the new ideas, the curiosities. You have some curiosities about this person. They want to hear your ideas. You, it's like I said, the give and take. We can share the moments, share our thoughts, share, you know, whatever it is. There's a lot of great mental energy and a lot of heart going out on this conversation, you know, on these uh, conversations you are having with this person. I love this. This is bringing in a transition and the change that is necessary. You might even have to travel to this person or maybe they travel to you. Maybe you meet them while traveling. Um, but I love that because it also feels like, you know what, I released all of whatever I was holding on to for this person because, I don't know, for some reason, it feels like if you had any fears of a relationship, it's almost like they're just kind of washing away. As this person is bringing in joy to you, it's almost like all of that is kind of, like I said, just kind of washing away. They're very comfortable. So they don't make you feel like you have any fear. They don't make you feel like you're um, close off. So the comfort that they're giving is very wonderful. I think for a lot of you, this is a newer relationship. I don't think it's an older relationship. It could be something you already know. Um, but I don't think this is a second chance type of scenario. I think this is literally someone you either already know who you feel very comfortable with or someone very new that you're going to run into. Why? Because it doesn't feel like there's any baggage. If anything, they're helping you release baggage. If it was an ex or anything like that, there would be too much fear, too much anxiety um, to want to let go of baggage, right? Because then you would be thinking too much. So it's, I don't believe it's that. So, let's see what the overall card is. Very beautiful. So just allow yourself to have the joy and open up to the relationship. Give yourself the opportunity, you know, to give out that love and really know, you know, then we have the King of Cups coming out, which is saying emotionally balanced. There it is again. This whole relationship is emotionally balanced. Some of you definitely might be <clears throat> dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or a Pisces. But there's a lot of emotional balance going on. I can open, you know, myself up to you, let you know exactly yeah, how I feel. And they have a lot of respect for you. And they give you respect and you give them respect. This is just a very beautiful reading. Yeah. <clears throat> You don't have to feel, look at that. You don't have to feel like there's any competition. There's no fighting, no arguing. This person doesn't want to argue with you. Look at that. They want to love you. No arguments. They want to love. Oh, yes. That's exactly what it is. Love it. Okay. So I've got the head over heels scenario going on over here. Feeling, you know what? This is a very practical love. Love it. Okay, guys, let's see what your card of the day is. Card of the day is develop flexibility and aim to be in harmony in all environments. Love it. Okay, guys. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.